Hey guys, Wicked Links Gaming here and welcome back to Chernobylite. Where we last left off, we had just hacked into the NAR server with the aid of Mikolai. And he, like, actually blew up himself in the building. Unfortunately, he got trapped in there and now we have to go rescue him. He did say that there might be monsters in there, so I'm aware of that. However... We did upgrade our rifle, so now we have a rifle coming with us on this mission. Take a look at this guy. Pretty nice. And we still have our faithful pistol too. So we're going to bring them both with, with us on this mission. But that's all. Let's send the gentleman out there to go get us some food and medical supplies and stuff. What is this? Can't be real. No, no, no. Oh, I have no idea what's going on here, guys. My health just went all the way to zero. Igor, it's not the end. I won't let it end like this. Go, die, fade, portal, help, die, Igor. Poor Igor, he is tripping right now. It's all those mushrooms out there in the irradiated wasteland. Yeah, I don't think I have anything. Don't be afraid to die. Death is a natural part of the process and can let you get out of a situation with a no way out. However, in the future, death will be punished with the loss of random items, so you won't always benefit from it. Time. Don't die. What is time, Igor? Is it a straight line? An arrow fired at the dawn of creation, moving steadily towards infinity? A universal constant that cannot be altered? Okay, this is weird. Or is it something much more? A fourth dimension that can change? Slowing down, speeding up, even shrinking or moving backwards. Something that can take the form of cosmic strings, infinite, full of mass and energy, bending reality and space, going on forever. This is our base, by the way, guys, the backside of our base. You arrived at your base wounded and scarred, but you didn't know the correct password for Olivier. Okay. Go ahead, Igor. Change the past. Hands where I can see them. What's the password? Ah, uh, okay. I mean, I'm pretty okay with just telling him I don't know it. I mean, it doesn't really change anything. But it's not letting me choose it. Uh, let's let's just try to let's tell him the, the new Nostalgia. one. Nostalgia. We don't have time for games, Olivier. Can't you tell it's me? You picked the password. Let's just stick to the rules, shall we? Come on in. And if you could change any of your decisions, would it be like going back in time? Or would it create an alternate universe? This is your chance to rethink the decisions you've made. A chance to reshape the fabric of space-time reality. A chance to alter your timeline. Whoa. We can be together, Igor. But you have to learn the truth if you truly want to find me. Each crystal represents a memory you can alter. Use your past and future knowledge to turn the situation to your advantage. Sashko asked you to destroy the Moscow Eye or make it work for you. Your choice was to make use of the PDA upgrade. Honestly, I'm okay with the PDA upgrade. If you guys want to see me blow it up though, uh, I'll blow it up for sure. Let's forget about this for now, Igor. But you need to understand that it can still happen in the future. Okay, so I guess I can come back and do that in the future. I guess these memories haven't happened yet. Uh, what is this? 
While searching Tarakan's hideout, you disarmed his traps, leaving the place vulnerable to the NAR. You considered rearming the traps, but feared they could be set off by a civilian. Because of that fear, you decided not to rearm the traps. I'm totally okay with that. Don't worry about this for now, but remember that it could still happen in the future. Be ready. Totally okay with that. Mikhail wanted you to help him wipe out the NAR servers. You did as he asked, but missed an opportunity to find new information about me. I'm also okay with everything I've made so far. I mean, NAR activity lowered. That's a win. Yeah, I don't think I don't think any of the ones that aren't here have happened yet, so. Ooh. This guy. Ah, we just let him go, it's fine. It looks like it might be all the memories for now. Honestly, I'm not changing anything. Not because I don't want to. I, like, I am curious what would happen if, like, we stop him from leaving next time. However, or I'm curious what would happen if I destroy that NAR, you know, radio tower or whatever it is. However, I, I do want to save those Chernobylites. I only have five of them. And I want to save it for, like, super important decisions, so... In case we really mess up something in the future... We'll always be able to come... Come back, I believe? I don't know. Let's take a nap, Igor. All your timeline memories will be rewritten according to your current progress. And the crystal changes you have made. Are you sure you are ready to wake up in the new reality? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's wake up in the new reality. I'm not even sure what the new reality is, other than us telling Olivier that the password is nostalgia. I wonder if it leaves us off on that same day. Hey, hello? Fuck! Is anyone there? Mikhail! Are you okay? Not really. I'm fucking stranded in the building I blew up. And there's something. Something else is here. Hurry! You're gonna need a gas mask. Now look in the building next to the monument. I'm sure a bright fellow like you will find it right away. Should have thought about the barrels earlier. And this gas, it's intense. It's making me hear things. See things. Or it could just be the drugs he's on. Regardless, I can't just leave him there. What the fuck is that? It's trying to get me! Help! See, that's what I was talking about. Can you see the smoker on the Duggar radar? I'm pretty sure that's your new best friend, Mikhail. Mikhail, what are you doing? Uh, where's, where's Sasko? Sasko! Right, well, he's got to be here somewhere. Not going to worry about it. Oh, Sasko isn't here. What is going on? Uh, sure, I will go take care of that. Sasko is gone. We went back in time. I have no idea what's going on. It's good. Everything is good. Yeah, we'll send Olivier on a supply run. Sasko, where'd you go? Oh no. My dear Igor, you're like the old turtle who ferries creatures across the river on its back, even though some of them are scorpions. And a scorpion will sting. It can't help its nature. Going back in time. And telling Olivier the password is now the reason why Sasko is not on the team. 
Uh, okay. Makes sense to me. Alright, let's quickly just try to knock out the easy ones here. And not like in this way. Let's see if there's a way we can go around. Who are you? Hello, Mr. Vagabond. Welcome, welcome. Fancy some trading? Uh, I have to ask. We're in the middle of nowhere. What are you even doing out here? Out here, everything is in the middle of nowhere, my friend. Sometimes, you need to get off the beaten path to find a solid business opportunity. I learned that from Warren Buffett. From Warren You've Buffett. You've met Warren Buffett? Uh, no. I've watched his motivational videos on YouTube, though. Basically the same thing. Exactly the same thing. Do you buy goods as well? Sure. Actually, I'm looking for a few things right now. No. No, sorry. I think I've done enough trading for now. All right, show me what you've got. Mr. Invisible Hand. Honestly, only well, looking for mushrooms. I think I've done enough mushrooms. trading for now. I'm looking for someone. Perhaps you've heard her name. Tatiana. Tatiana Amelieva. She used to work at the power plant. She went missing 30 years ago. Uh, I'm sorry, my friend. It's been a while since I've seen a woman. I've been too busy. Yeah, busy? yeah, yeah. With what? With creating a new world of opportunities, my friend. I'm like Gordon Gecko, only smarter. And like Jack Ma, only more hardworking. I'm gonna build my commercial empire on the ashes of Chernobyl in no time. Good luck. Good luck, buddy. Good luck building your fortune, Mr. Invisible Hand. Ah, <laughs> thanks. But I'll make my own luck. Okay, guys. You guys know the deal. I will grab, you know, whatever resources is on our general beat path for the mission. And then I'll do the mission. And I'll scavenge off screen just to make sure that we're not missing anything. And that we aren't possibly going to spend too much time, you know what I mean, on on looking for resources. And upstairs here. I think I'm supposed to go upstairs here. Nice. Oh, okay. Woo! Okay. Sorry. Uh, didn't expect to see a monster like that right away. It's honestly, it's been a, it's been a while since I've seen any monsters, so kind of went a little quick there. Here, I'll take the revolver ammo. Woo! What is this? Oh, a random revolver. No thanks. Don't need it. But as long as I got inventory. Okay, I don't think there's anything else up here. Get out of this place. If I had the ability to break that one, I would, but I don't currently, unfortunately. I don't think I do, at least. Uh, yeah, 
See, I don't have the burnout. Just keep our eyes open, we'll be good. So we got a couple of NAR guys up ahead. Could just kill him. I don't think he can see me from here though. And if I can do it without having to kill him, I will do it without having to kill him. That's nice. What's that smell? Did someone take a shit out here or what? <laughs> we actually put that up beforehand so we can clear this zone up. So it's nice. It's like a nice day, and it's gl I'm glad to see it. You know, it working. Where are you, Mr. NAR dude that needs to take a shit? There we go, there's one down. Didn't even have to kill him. Thank you for your support. Okay, and we got the gas mask. Alright. So we will try to sneak on out of here. Let's see if we can't take out this other guy without getting seen too. I don't think that was, no, no, it was not the same guy. All right. Now turn around, you're ours. <laughs> Igor is a stealth killing machine out here tonight. All right, thank you for your ammo. Thank you for the hospitality. Move a little bit, come over here, grab this. Mechanical parts. Oh, come on, let me grab it. So the radiation is still kind of bad here in this zone. So if it's, if I'm able to, I will. I will set up another, you know, beacon. In the meantime, I'll just search this search this house real quick. All right, let's go save him from the monsters. I also like want to save a bunch of the mushrooms because the mushrooms I can go back to my base and then build farms, and then later on I can come back and I can do even more of the situational. Not situational, but like even more of the environmental modifiers. I'm scared to go in there. Take these mushrooms while I'm here. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna check the building real quick, guys. Famous last words, right? Not that way. Check it out. Was I already in here is the question. I don't think I was. Oh, no, I was. I'm not going up there. I am. I am going up here. Monster. Yep. Okay. We were here. Sorry about that, guy. Let's wrap on back into this main quest area. Really irradiated over here. Jump over the the little garden fern. Uh, I can't keep going that way. Walk around the radiation. Ah, uh, how do I get there if I can't go through here? Gotta be a way. I just gotta run through it, I guess. Oh, the, the gate opens. Oh, 
What is that? Okay, that's our objective. I'll go zoom over there real quick. Oh, it's filled with gas. Yeah, I forgot about that. All right, guys. Gas mask on. Oh, guess I can't go in through that way. Run around, see if I can, uh, probably up through here. Oh, jeez. You're right, I can't see anything, you can't see anything. The gas mask, the gas itself, there. Mikolai, where are you? He's got to be on the bottom floor then. Head this way. Oh, it is. It is absolutely wonderful in here. Oh my god. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm scared. I'm scared a little bit. Just a little bit. Mikhail, up, 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 it's time to go. God, I, what is in those barrels? Must be some kind of incapacitating agent. Maybe substance 78. The mask isn't stopping it. Gotta find Mikhail and get out of here fast. Uh, this is this is great. Mikhail? No. Mikhail. Okay. Oh. Uh. That was a brand new gas mask. What is that nine on my screen? Oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm so Who are you? Mommy, did, did you bring the crystal? It's me, Mikhail. Uh, the green crystal. I need it so bad. Is he talking about methamphetamine? Oh, this loser really is a junkie. <laughs> Behind you! Uh... Don't do that. What is that? Oh my god, this is scary. I can't see anything. You just jumped through a portal? Goddamn crystals! The green crystal! I need it! Please, mommy! Okay, come on. Can we get you out of here yet? These dudes are jumping walls. Fucking me! I have your green crystal. And where'd you go? Oh, I can't see anything. Okay. Oh, the gas is getting stronger. If we don't leave now, we'll stay here forever. Your sweet boy is right behind you, mommy. What the heck? Uh, Igor? Hey, 
What are you doing here? Oh my... Holy... Fuck! Uh... Did I do all this? We barely made it out alive. The gas masks must have been faulty, but the hallucinogen should wear off fairly quickly. I am so goddamn tired. I think I saw my mother. I must be dying or something. Just leave me here. Just join me. Stop your belly. Why okay. don't you come back to the warehouse with me? You need rest. Don't freak out, okay? I'll open <laughs> the portal and you can come back to the base. How is he not going to freak out right now? Yep, go back, go through the portal. Alright, first things first, take this gas mask off. Right. Okay. That looks like it's it for this side mission, guys. So I'm going to quickly just run around grab whatever loot I can and if anything interesting happens I will be sure to go ahead and pull you guys back and let you know all right guys Ooh. what the hell was that are you trying to get yourself killed well, you want to live forever professor besides it had to be done we gouged out their fucking eyes and cut off their ears this time. NAR's hurting now, at least for a couple of days. I meant blowing up the goddamn building while you were still inside. Oh, that, yeah, small miscalculation on my part. I really didn't know what was in those barrels. Shit, but it was worth it, right? We fisted those bastards hard. <laughs> and you didn't hesitate even once. Admit it. You've got a killer somewhere inside you, Kim and Yuk. Um. All right. <laughs> Good job. Olivier was successful on his mission. Mikolai is with us now. I have no idea what happened to Tasco. Fortunately, Olivier is not healthy. It's okay. Um. I have no idea what happened to Sasko, but as you guys can tell, nothing interesting happened in the last, you know, in the last go around, so. We are fine. Everything is fine. Everybody can get food. Eat up. Go check on our garden. All right, that looks like it's all. Now let's see if we can build more of the plants. Now oh, that's comfort. Go back. Maybe it's in this one. It is. We can build a couple of these. These just give us more mushrooms every time. So the more of these we have, the better. And that looks like it's all we can build right now. Save up the other ones. Actually, I do need to use it, unfortunately. In case I come across more of that Chernobylite. Yeah, I mean, you can have Sasko's bed. You won't be needing it. Can you teach me anything? Are you hungry, Igor? Not at the moment, thanks. Are you making something? <laughs> Just kidding. The meat I've stashed away, I would never share it with you. Hell, <laughs> this meat I wouldn't feed to my worst enemy. Or maybe only to my worst enemy. <laughs> He's a psycho. What are you on about, Mikhail? I've spent a lot of time in the zone, too much time, doing various kinds of deals. Along the way, I learned about what happened in our beloved motherland after the big fucking reactor exploded. Okay, let's hear it. After your dumbass scientist caused the explosion and irradiated us in half of Europe, someone told the party apparatchiks they needed to slaughter all the livestock in the area. We're talking 50,000 sheep and cattle. Of course. It was regrettable, but a reasonable thing to do, Mikhail. 
<laughs> right, right. But we wouldn't be Slavs if it wasn't for our fucking ingenuity and business acumen, huh? We always find a way. Hell, not even a hundred years of communism could uproot our inbred knack for wheeling and dealing. Anyway, some genius decided it would be a waste to just throw all that meat in an incinerator. The animals were slaughtered, all right, but not destroyed. Instead, their glow-in-the-dark meat was mixed in with the flesh of healthy animals. And shipped to Moscow. Cool, huh? That's true. This sounds like the exact opposite of cool, Mikhail. The glowing sausages left the party officials scared shitless. Their solution was to immediately ship it somewhere else. Georgia, Ukraine, Kazakhstan. But the truth was already out. And nobody wanted this generous gift. So, there was this freaking ghost train rolling through Ukraine and Belarus, from one station to another, filled with radioactive meat that no one dared touch. This toxic meat train cruised the Soviet Empire for three years. Three fucking years! Before the cooling system broke down. At that point, the KGB stepped in and eventually buried the cargo. But I managed to snag a piece for myself, and I'm keeping it. It could be very valuable one day. Valuable? How? Uh, not sure yet. It could have sentimental value. Or maybe I could use it to blackmail someone. You're insane. Please keep your radioactive meat away from our kitchen. Yes, please. Uh, let's... First of all... Sorry. Let me grab you a weapon. You can have a shotgun. The fuck you want? Chill, psychopath. Want to trade? Just make it fucking quick, will ya? I got Alright. Go ahead, you need that shotgun. Enjoy it. Now the fuck trade you me. want? I want you to train me in your craziness. Mikhail, you've been around. You could teach me something about surviving in the zone. Perhaps a fucking lootly I can. That's the smartest request you've ever made, Igor. Gathering and preparing herbs and mushrooms, scavenging for food, treating bullet wounds. I wouldn't last long in this shithole if it wasn't for my mad skills. Oh, gathering. While gathering plants and mushrooms, you have a 10% chance of finding extra food. See 15% more of every pick resource. Let's do that. Perfect. Let's do it. I don't know how this is going to go. He's going to tell me to be extra careful when I pick. What are we doing again? Ah, yes, I remember now. I'm going to teach you how to scavenge for supplies. It's very fucking important that a true stalker can recognize all the different kinds of herbs and mushrooms, right? You also need to know how to spot useful stuff, like electronics or parts. You feel me? Very fucking useful. You can use this shit to build something really badass. But you also need to be fast. You can't be wandering around like an idiot, or something will come up and bite you in the ass. That's why we're gonna time this exercise. I'll give you 60 seconds to find anything usable. I don't care if you're ready or not. Three. Okay. Two. 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 Go! My guy. Do I have to get it all? Do I have to get it all? That's the real question. Time is of the essence. Twenty seconds left. Okay. Just keep going. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this should uh should be good enough, right? Get them scrawny legs pumping, Professor! Ten seconds. Yeah, I literally can't find anything else, so Time's up! Come on, Igor! Let's show our studio audience how you did! 
I had to have done it. Not bad for an ancient scholar from a past era. Not bad at all. We're done here, Igor. Appreciate you, buddy. Thank you. The fuck you want? I'd like to train with Mikhail, you. Mikhail, you've been around. Again. You could teach me something about surviving in the zone. Perhaps a fuck gathering and preparing herbs and mushrooms, scaven. All right, let's see if we can. Perfect gather. I only have one skill point. Actually, I can't do it right this minute. Sorry, buddy. I'll do it later. Let's hit the sack and maybe Sasko comes back? Sasko? Where are you? Day 11, the refuge. How is our base doing? Everything's fine in here. Roger that, Rhino One. Proceed as ordered. The area is clear. Do you copy? Leave it Charlie Bluebird. We'll get to the target ASAP. Over and out. Posing as the enemy, you're playing a dangerous game, Olivier. I know what I'm doing. I've learned their code names and routines. Knowing your enemy is essential. What is going on? Okay. Clever. We need to get the upper hand over NAR whenever we can. Agreed. I wasn't trained in cracking codes, but I know how to crack people. And this radio works perfectly with NAR encryption. I discovered something that may be of interest to you, Igor. NAR is sending a team out to locate some old KGB duck. Could be related to what sounds like a my thoughts. Ex I know. Yeah. I'll check it. Just. You know what happened, guys? I must have said forget things in that room. And once you forget a memory, I, I think you have to redo it. Wow. Okay. Let's. Check assignments here. Mikola is with us. Yeah, I think we have already got these documents. So I'll just go after it and then go get some food and go to the supply drop. Sure. You guys have fun out there. But I'm pretty sure I've done this mission before. If there's two guys guarding this, I've 100% done I remember done the young before. pioneer camp. Who would have thought that there were secret Soviet bunkers scattered around? Olivier tries hard to be friends with you, but is it genuine? He's a mercenary after all. Can you afford his brand of loyalty? Yeah, so we did do this. This is insane. What a mind trip. So like, you keep your base stuff, but you go back in time and boom. Get to redo what you've already done, huh? I guess at least we know what to expect now. In and out, grab the mushrooms and run. In and out, Mika Latata. Mushrooms and run. Try to make this one quick here, guys. The zone is radioactive. Now we gotta be slow here. It's not here. Why yeah. isn't it here? Shit, take it easy, Andre. These documents are over 30 years old. Who knows where they ended up by now? The captain said we have to find them. It's really important. Not even to deal with it. We need to lure him out. Yeah, we've done this before, guys. We know this. I gotta be very careful not to forget memories that. You know, I've done it in the past or beforehand. I'll let you guys pause and read it if you like. But sweet, that's one thing done. Head to the next one.
That was bad, but it's okay. We have bottles of vodka for all of you. Igor will drink away his pain. Keep it rolling. I think there are bad guys over here too. Maybe not. No, oh, that's gonna irritate me. Visible wall. All right, let's head down here. Wait for it. Ah, been here before. You've come a long way to die, and they are rat. Oh, that was close. Sorry, we're too good. Maybe I should rearm the traps. And what? we tell Why? Olivier no. Whoever's after us will most likely come here looking for clues. Wouldn't it be prudent to... To what? Use this opportunity to try and thin the NAR ranks? Exactly. Look, I've done my fair share of killing, but I don't like that plan at all. God knows who might wander down here. What if a civilian walks into one of the traps? Anyone that has no idea what's going on... You're uh, right, it's too risky. This. I can't chance killing some Samuel who went exploring. Good. I'm glad you agree. You're finally starting to think like a military man. We've done this. Like, um... All of this. In the past. Alright, you guys know the deal. I will run around collect anything and everything that I can that's potentially useful to our cause here. And then once I'm done with that, I'll pull you guys back inside the base. What's that smell? Did someone take a shit out here or what? What is up with these guys? You just gotta fix your sniffers here. Let's see if I can take out a couple of them one by one here. Watch him not turn around. Oh, hide from this guy. Ooh. Last time I did this one, I ran around the corner and they started shooting at me right away. Look at this. Igor's getting better. Where's your friend at, huh? Keep walking. You don't see anything. There's another one. We're doing well here, guys. I didn't... The last time we did this one, I didn't even come up this way. So this is intriguing. Okay. And remember, if you guys are enjoying um, Chernobylite, be sure to like and subscribe. We post new videos of this every single Monday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So, uh, and believe me, it's coming. So if you guys like it, you guys want to see it, consider it. What's taking you so long? I don't know. Chill. Find me love. Why did you abandon me? First of all, we don't know the backstory. Second of all, I know you were messing around with Boris. You and Boris were out there slanging it. We don't care. We don't care about Tatiana around here. We don't care about her. 
We got priorities. I don't remember seeing this guy. That's pretty cool, though. Yeah, we ain't playing. Go ahead, pop out right here. Pop out right here. Where you at? Wow. Okay, guys. Random monsters will keep you on your toe. That's for sure. Doubt he's gone, but... Go ahead. Pop out. Where you at? You up here? Where you at? We ain't even scared. We're not even scared. That's right. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Sit down. There's another one? Okay, guys, well, welcome back. Couple monsters. Nothing too bad, though. Nothing we couldn't handle. It is a little dark. Check up here real quick. Guys. Everybody is healthy. Come on, be healthy. Yep, everybody's healthy. Except she only came back with half a thing of bread. Good luck, I feed you. Everybody gets the normal amount. Good job, everybody. All right, let's head downstairs real quick. Fix up the garden. Or at least, actually, you know what? We gotta, we gotta collect our garden first. Now, the main reason why I keep doing this garden, I know it doesn't give you an insane amount. However, just constantly having to collect um, things like mushrooms to get, because mushrooms are used in all, almost everything. Mushrooms, herb, used in a lot of stuff that we we use daily, so just by doing this, I mean we're getting an extra two a day. Extra two mushrooms a day. You know, you get 0.5, so it's 2.5. That's five mushrooms every single day that we come back here. Pretty good stuff. Maybe we could do Herbs. Do we need herbs? How is herbs doing? Oh, we could definitely do herbs. Keep them coming. Herbs are one of those things you want a lot of too. There we go. And then, like, food. You need chemicals, herbs, and mushrooms. So this is just the first step to getting ourselves a renewable food source. Looks a little ugly now, but hey. It'll get the job done. It'll get the job done. And let's talk to Mikhail. You have a right second, now. Igor? Sure. What can I do for you? I was just thinking about my friends. Zena, Yuri, Ludmila, and Igor, your namesake. They were the best fucking guys and gals I've ever known. When I first arrived, I was lost, just stumbling around in the dark like an idiot. They took me in and we became inseparable. 
The greatest team of stalkers the world has ever seen. Will ever see. They called us the Pripyat Five. It was a stupid-ass joke, of course. But I still liked it. Zeno was the did. smart one. Whatever the problem, she always had a solution in her back pocket. She could get us out of every kind of goddamn mess. Yuri was the strongest guy ever. He was our shield. It was like he was carved from wood. Igor was the leader. But really, he was like the older brother I never had. And then there was Ludmila, the party girl. We did so many drugs together. I had a bit of a crush on her, and I think it was mutual. Shit. <laughs> really sorry, Mikhail. Everything reminds me of them. This place. We built it together. Carried all this shit on our backs, like fucking ants. I never worked so hard in my life. It was supposed to be our post-apocalyptic hive. The Pripyat fucking five in the hive. My homies. My home. I'm sorry. really sorry, Mikhail. I hope you can at least find some closure here. And let's try to train it real quick. You've been around. You could teach me something about surviving in the zone. Perhaps a fucking lootly I can. Gathering and preparing herbs. All right. Let's see. Yep. Let's go. Perfect gatherer. Perfect. Let's do it. And now, every time I pick up herbs. AKA mushrooms and or gathering supplies seems easy enough, herbs right? themselves. Well, it's fucking not. You need to know shit. For example, herbs with large leaves can often be found in the vicinity of their smaller brothers or even beneath them. So being extra observant means additional stuff. Ready to put Uncle Mikhail's knowledge to the test? Okay, let's make a healing ointment. You need to find two mushrooms and two healing herbs. And because my time is so precious, I'm giving you no more than 60 seconds to find them. Three. Two. Two again. Ah, fuck it. Just go already. Uh, go fetch me some motherfucking mushrooms and herbs, Professor. All right. So that's not what he wants. Mushrooms and herbs, huh? There's one. Two mushrooms over there. Yeah, 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 we're fine. Oh, saw you. See you. See you. I know you're not herbs. I'm gonna get you anyway because I can. Alright, come on, Igor, get some sprint back here. That should be plenty of herbs for a healing cell. Gotta be. Ten seconds left. No dilly fucking dally in you here. I'm not. We're good. Should be everything. I don't see anything else. All and I'm right. back in time to Let's spare. see how you did. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad. Let's work on the healing ointment now. All right, that's all for now. Right on. Another skill learned. Right. I hope you don't forget what you learned today. I worked my ass off for you out there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. Let's check out our skill page real quick. Okay. Starting to come along. Looks like I have. Two more unknown companions that we might be able to get. Ah. Uh, okay. Okay, well. I don't know where Sasko went. That is going to be the number one thing that bugs me. However, I think this is a great place to end the episode, guys. Thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed, 
turn on the light please subscribe we post new episodes of it every single monday at 10 a.m pacific standard time feel free to drop a like and a comment down below on how i can improve the channel for you and as always welcome to the wild side thanks you guys